Cool. Well, uh, obviously that was a big win for us. A terrific game, I thought. Now we haven't, haven't won many games like that I think throughout the course of the year. Um, but uh, obviously there's some key plays in the game, some key swings of the bat, and uh, obviously Zach, um, the two run homer there to, you know, to get to get us to get us a, get us a lead, which is always important in games like that. Um, and I think uh, you know obviously Josh's Josh's throw from from right field. Um, I'm gonna remember that one for a long time, and then we we obviously pitched well against a really really good good team. Um, so um, proud of proud of our kids for the way we play. Let's take questions for the players first, so they can get out of here. With Jonathan, um, so Josh, can you tell me what you talked about other dashes though, and are you alright when you know chest bump? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a little scary. I didn't really know what was coming from Josh, I and mean, he's pretty crazy. So. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that was an unbelievable play right there. Just catching the ball and then throwing it at a strike right there. Uh, that's one of the best defensive plays I've ever seen, so that was great for him. All right, Zach, with your career winding down, what does it mean to have such a big hit like that in a game like this? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's pretty big. I mean, um, been here four years, so um, it, I just try to stay calm in there and um, use my experience. Um, I battled, battled a few pitches, and, and uh, he left one inside in my sweet spot, and I was able to get a good swing on it. Yeah, just, uh, Zach, I mean, in your four years here, if you've been around a crowd like this, you know, and launched it, like, you know, and excited for tonight. I don't, I don't think I have. Um, it was big. It's a big part um, for us, because when, when you get the crowd behind us, it just gets us going. Josh, I mean, you got inserted into the game in the top of the seventh as pitcher, bottom of the seventh to make that play. Like, what's going through your head as you make that play? Then? Um, nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Yeah. So, like, well, honestly, before the play, like I pictured in my head and I told myself I wasn't gonna like get really excited if I did, just try to act cool. But then <laughs> I did. It happened, and I saw I saw Ike Freeman's face just freaking out, and, and I had no choice but to go crazy. <laughs> So Josh, earlier in that inning, there was a, a play that uh, ball that dropped in down the line. What were you thinking after that ball landed, and uh, before you got the chance to, to make the, the throw home? Like, like earl, earlier this, with the situation, mm -hmm. had the runners on first and second. Um, what was running through your head? Get to the ball, throw it to my cut. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for Josh Hyde, you had some uneasy moments earlier in that inning. Did maybe that play kind of get on for the rest of the game, or? Um, I don't know. Really calm me down. I guess I try and stay about even throughout the game. Um, from pitch one until we come out of the game. So I mean, obviously the big situation I came in. Uh, I just gotta stay calm, stay steady, and uh, just continue that throughout. Josh, there was a question before you walked in about chest bumping Josh. Was there any concern that you hurt Josh? <laughs> no, he's a tough guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Greg? Zach, you mentioned you've been here four years. Uh, first time you guys have kind of been in this situation. Win a big game yesterday and then have a kind of a clutch tight game tonight. Could you kind of sense some, some binding going on through those tense moments? Oh, yeah. I mean, this team. We have a lot of returners that, that have been there last year and um, experienced it a long way. Um, I think we stayed um, composed and um, in those type of situations we just kind of played and um, just like real little kids. I mean, uh, last year this was my first time, so you know, a lot of other guys first time. Uh, so I mean, we didn't really know what to expect. So this year we're kind of laid back and um, just going out there and playing. Yeah, yeah just to follow up on that. You, know, you guys were all here last year. I think. What did you gain, you think, from going through that? It had to be painful, of course, to be, you know, what happened. What did you gain from that experience, and how did it kind of affect your mindset entering this weekend? Yeah. Um, I think the experience goes a long way, but um, I think it put a, a big chip on our shoulder um, coming into this year, and, and we didn't want to have that feeling again. Um, it was tough, but we had to get over it and get back to work, and, and that's what these guys have done. We've, we've been able to 
get over it pretty quick and um, and restart kind of and just been playing well. Yeah, I'll just have to go with Zach there. Um, one of those things going to the tournament, just playing a little bit of a chip on my shoulder from last year. Just remember that taste in my mouth. Um, but once the first pitch of A&T, just kind of forget about it, just play the game baseball. That's the way we do. So. Anything else for the players? All right, guys, you can head back. Yes. Talk about Luke Delatre's performance today, and how he settled in and, and gave your team an opportunity to win. Yeah, I thought Luca, uh, thought Luca was good once again. Um, the uh, he he's always going to give us a chance um, to win, especially early because he throws so many so many strikes, and uh, it's hard to have a big inning off of Luca because he doesn't get himself into into trouble that way. He, uh, he just really just ran out of ran out of gas, I and mean, it was. Uh, his jersey um, was, I mean, soaked like after the first inning, pretty humid, and obviously he hadn't, you know, he hadn't been out there in a while. So that's, um, you know, a, I think he was a little bit dizzy, a little bit dehydrated there after the after the fifth. So we, right, fifth, yeah, fifth. Sorry, and uh, so we we need to get him out. But uh, yeah, our team is uh, team's really confident. We look at we look at on the mound that that helps us. Coach. Coach, obviously you battled a lot of adversity earlier in the season. Uh, how much do you think that helps in a game like this and being able to just continue battling? Um, yeah, I mean we've we, we have, and um, you know we, we we pride ourselves on on you know trying to overcome things that are out of our control and um, trying to keep playing and set all along. I think this team's toughness is. Um, is a trait that I really see in them, really our whole team, and mentally and and physically. Uh, but obviously, mental toughness has got a lot lot to do with that. Um, so uh, you know, we played in some. You know, we were prepared for tonight in terms of our league, and I thought Cumby was. I thought he was really good there. I mean, he settled in for about four innings there. It was pretty much unhittable. I mean, you can see why he's got the numbers that he has. I mean, his change up just disappeared, and and uh, when that happens, you're gonna have a hard time scoring. So we we just needed a pitch and play defense, and maybe get a big play or a big hit. And, um, yeah, I, I thought um, I think it's what gets lost sometimes um, before the home run from Zach and then before the RBI single from Mike was the two walks, um, both three two. Um, you know those are those are really good at bats. When you when you got a pitcher around the plate and you're taking three two pitch to walk, so we don't we don't score those two runs if we don't get if we don't get those. So I think that shows our, our team how we kind of have to win sometimes. Greg, and Mike, 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 you mentioned not having played many games like this over the course of the season. Do you buy into the notion that you need this type of game to kind of settle the team and let them see how they can play in this type of setting? Yeah. Um, um, I'm not quite sure I, I should have said that. I mean, you know, we've we've been kind of known to like if we don't score five or six runs, you know, you know, I've seen our record and stuff out there. I don't pay a lot of attention to that, but it's, I guess if it's out there, I guess if you guys wrote it, it's true. And, uh, um, so that maybe will be the case that we we needed a somewhat low scoring. You know, every pitch matters, every play matters, grind out at bat kind of game. Um, our, our guys, I mean, our guys were ready. I think they were they were ready tonight, even with the delay. They were they were ready. Bob, Josh is getting a lot of credit for that throw, but I think Cody might have done just a good job at the other end. Yeah, it takes two. Um, uh, on the pick there. Yeah, we work on that a lot. Um, you know, our catchers are taking throws and and trying to block off that back part of the plate, which is where the majority of base runners are going. So uh, I was just hoping it wouldn't wouldn't bounce. Um, so, yeah, Josh. Uh, Josh surprised me um, a little bit um, by being late to the press conference. That's typical Josh Ladowski, <laughs> the last one in here. Uh, uh, shocker, and uh, didn't have his uniform on and all this stuff. But I can't blame him for that. But but he's he practices hard. He's the most well liked player on our team. 
is the most well-liked player on our team. Um, I'm not quite sure why, <laughs> I, I, I like, um, but he is. I got I I guys just love him, and he doesn't play very much. So we just keep saying all the time. I go out and read out, read out the lineup. I have all the guys that aren't playing all the back. And so I just remind them, hey, there's some guys on the back of this car that are probably going to affect the outcome of the game. And most of the time that's the case. It has been with this team. So I'm, I'm happy for Josh because he, he's, he's put in a lot of work here and, you know, to get a little bit of, a little bit of limelight tonight and make a play like that to help us win is, is pretty cool. Late, so two more, Matt, and then take one more after that. Charles, can you talk about the crowd tonight? It certainly seemed like the most electric crowd of the season, certainly. Absolutely, absolutely. I was, uh, I was tickled to death. Um, I uh, thought our crowd was was great. It was one of the best we've had here that I can remember. Um, and I think they they helped us, help our guys. We they're not used to that a little bit, so. Um, Give a shout out to all them. I, I, uh, I think I made them all mad playing at two on Friday, but then you know maybe maybe eight on Saturdays. Good. I don't know. All They're all probably on Franklin Street, I guess. Uh, all right, two more. Jonathan and Pat. Uh, just two quick ones. Do you um, know who the start might be for next game? Um, I, I would uh, I would anticipate Austin Bergner tomorrow night. I would not confirm that, but. I would anticipate after we talk. And, and how's Cody doing? I know he got foul ball. Uh, I don't know, was it off the knee or? Yeah, got him off, off the knee. So uh, he's, he's okay. Uh, could, we, we, we were all laughing at the home play because we were saying it could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't think that was too funny because he was <laughs> Last one, Pat. I mean, you talked about having Cody back yesterday, but to have him behind the plate tonight, he's kind of what you be able to see him done. You're kind of getting this first one, really. Yeah, he's a, he is a tough kid. And, uh, you know, we felt like we needed him back there tonight because they like to run a lot. And uh, I think his presence back there and just his reputation of, you know, how good he is back there throwing, I think, um, you know, may, maybe helped us a little bit, just to put a little doubt in their mind because they didn't, they didn't use that part of their their offense tonight, which I, I think maybe helped us.